Hello everyone, today's concept is self-categorization theory. As a social animal, we tend to categorize ourselves as a member of a group. Perhaps we have some instinct to belong to a group to a varying degree. So self-categorized theory tells this. Self-categorized theory is a theory about the nature of the self that recognizes that perceivers are both individuals and group members, explain how and when people will define themselves as individual and group entities and its implications and examine the impact of this variability in self-perception. It is true that every individual has a unique characteristics. Nonetheless, we may define ourselves as a member of a social group. It can be a country, a religion, even a sports team. According to Turner, who is the origin thinker of self-categorized theory, there is a sequence that a person becomes a member of a social group. First, individuals define themselves as a member of the distinct social category. Let's say you are born in Sri Lanka and you happen to uh, move in Boston and settle down. Then you may define yourself a member of Boston Red Sox fan. Second, they learn or develop the appropriate expected desirable behavior that are correlated with the category, category membership and differentiated from other category. Maybe as you are a Red Sox fan, you are supposed to dislike Yankees. And third one is the, uh, they assign the norms and attributes of the category to themselves through the process of depersonalization and self-stereotyping. Red Sox um, fans, uh, they love baseball. However, when they live, live in Boston, they tend to be uh, like typical Red Sox fans. They are very uh, eager to support Red Sox to beat Yankees. The last uh, step is their behavior becomes normative as their category membership becomes more salient. As they recognize as a Red Sox fan, their behavior becomes normative indicating they do uh, what Red Sox fans do because they are Red Sox fans. 